Okay, so what we are going to learn today is the audio recorder, which you could get it from the media cabinet, the silver one on the right, and the meter session. And you will see the barcode number right here, 500721. Uh, you will also follow the instruction of the check out and check in procedure. In the box, you will have an audio recorder. which it has a earphone plug and microphone plug if you need additional microphone. So if you would like to, uh, to charge the battery or to copy the file once you are done, uh, it has USB connection. It's, uh, on the side, there's a, a switch. Just switch to the button, the USB connection will come out. And to turn on, the, the audio recorder, there's a, a switch, it's, it's called hold. What you need to do is to switch to unhold. That will come out of the screen. And the red button is just to simply press to record. Now I'm recording test one, two, three. The sp that stop button is right here. That will stop the recording. To playback is the middle session of the play button. It's also an OK button, <laughs> but there's a triangle right here to play it. Hit it. Now I'm recording test one, two, three. The sp stop, stop button is right here. To record is to press the red button right here. To stop is to press the next button on the left. To play it is this middle button. It's also an OK with a triangle button to play it. To record is to press the red button right here. To stop is to press the next button on the left. How do you erase? There is one index slash erase button with a, an orange index. Hit erase. Switch to file erase or erase the whole entire folder. Press one more time to switch to start or all erase. Erase done. One more time to start recording is the red button. To stop on the left button. To playback is the middle session. To erase the file is the left bottom corner. And once you are all set, you want to copy the file. Just twist the USB button and plug into your USB on the computer. Also, if you want to charge the battery, you want to turn off the device first. Hold on to the start button and then plug into your computer. You will see the screen comes out. It's charging. Once it says it's charging, you could let go of the start button and usually it takes a few hours to charge the battery. If you want to replace the battery immediately and you happen to have a AAA battery, what you could do is take off the battery of our current one. But please don't uh, throw that away because it's a uh, rechargeable battery. Just simply replace it with a, a regular battery and return back to us when you finish. There is one more function that you could do with this uh, digital device. If you have a cassette, which is an old technology, but I believe some of uh, the archive footage, it might be in the tape that you used years ago, or you receive it from a client. What you could do is to come to our office 
with a cassette player and put the cassette in the player and we will give you an audio cable. What you would do is connect one end in the ear connection, which is the headphone. The other end connects to microphone as the input. So you connect the analog to digital. And then what you do is to rewind the tape or cue out the tape wherever you want and turn on our digital device. Then play your cassette tape, hit the record button. You will see the meter is running. That means there is a volume coming out. What I'm going to do right now is to hit stop recording and I'm going to play back. This is a testing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is you can see the volume is not, the quality is not so good, but uh, at least it worked. You could transfer the cassette tape into a digital device and then use the USB to archive the file into your computer. If you would like to convert your cassette tape onto computer, what you could do is borrow a cassette player from our office, put the tape in, queue up your tape, either rewind or fast forward, and also borrow our digital recorder and a cable which will connect the ear output from the cassette player into the microphone connection. It's right here as the input. Once you queue up your tape, hit record on the recorder, digital recorder, and play your cassette player and you will see the meter is running right here and hit stop whenever you are ready to stop or once the tape finish playing then what we could do is to test this is a testing on the cassette player one two three four five You can see the quality is not so great, but at least you could convert the tape onto your computer by connecting the USB connection and copy the file. And switch to off when you are all set. Make sure that you copy everything that you need onto your computer before you return the item back to CMS office.